Merci. Hey guys, we're Kevin and Taylor from Matters on the Map, and today we are going to install back door windows on our 2015 Mercedes Sprinter van 170 wheelbase. That's it. Let's get right into it. Oh, and we're starting about 135, so we'll give you a gauge on how long this job takes. We're gonna do both windows today, and we are complete beginners. We watched a lot of YouTube videos. We are not experts in any way, shape, or form, but I think we have pretty good tools, and... Let's hope so. <laughs> so we're heading we'll, into a van. Yeah, hopefully everything will go good. So in terms of parts you need, I'm going to start out with, you want to start out with the paintbrush? Well, you should go left <laughs> to right. I guess I didn't really think about that. Um, so the paint is going to be after you cut into the window, you're going to have to put this Rust-Oleum paint on it to prevent rust on the raw metal. And that's what the paintbrush is for. We have the C-clamps here to squeeze the window onto the metal door of the van. So the uh, adhesive or the urethane sticks. We have the tape to prevent scratching when we use the jigsaw razor blade to help us cut through the uh, packaging for the windows. Suction cups to hold the windows. This is the primer that's gonna go on for the adhesive. And little cotton swab things to help us get it there. We're gonna use this to trace the window, dry eraser, um, so we know where to put the primer. You're gonna need a drill bit to drill the holes. And a hammer to hammer on, I don't know what you would call this, what would you call this thing? I forget. I don't know. Some rubber seal around the edge of the window so it's not gonna be raw metal there. And then we have uh, the urethane, we're using 3M and then our jigsaw and metal blades there. What are these for? Uh, this is to dull the raw metal down, or buff the raw me metal, mm -hmm. smooth it out before we paint it. And then we're gonna be making an outline of the window with a screwdriver and a hammer, so we know where to drill and what the shape of the window is gonna be like. All right, so we got our backdoor windows off of Amazon. And they came in a package like okay. this in the mail. We're just taking them apart, making sure that there's no cracks in the glass before we start cutting through our, our back door and have a big hole in the door with broken glass. All right. All right, we're gonna put the window in place and trace around here. That way we know how far to go with our cutting. And for the adhesive urethane stuff, we know exactly where to put it. Thank <laughs> you. 
beautiful that looks. All right. So now Taylor is just tracing the outline that we just created. And if you notice around the corners where it's rounded, I tightened up the distance between each dot just so it's a more accurate measure. And we're doing it with a dry eraser marker so we can erase if we make mistakes. There's the outline that we'll follow with our jigsaw blade or saw. So next up for us is to tape the outline. So when we make our cut, we're not going to scrape this all up with the vibration of the jigsaw. And we're only doing one window at a time. So if we do make any mistakes, we'll learn from our mistakes. Now we're going to drill a hole. taping the door we actually taped the saw as well again to prevent the vibration from scraping the metal of the window so we have a thin metal Bosch blade to cut through So we just did some fine tuning, um, but we got a little bit of a gap from the jigsaw here. So I might just take some pliers and just pinch this together when we apply the rubber thing with Bob. But next step right now is to dull this down and get rid of all of the rough edges. And from the other side, like this. Not sure if we just recorded it. I just lost the drill bit. We just took a little buffer to the edge here to smooth that out. And now we are going to apply rust only paint to prevent rust. Any raw metal you want to make sure that you paint over to prevent that rust. So we are using Rust-Oleum. I don't know if we're too close to the camera or not. Rust-Oleum. To apply to the raw metal right now to prevent that rust. And Taylor is just brushing off any of the raw metal shavings that uh, got stuck to the van when we were doing the jigsaw and cutting out the hole. Painting. So 
So we just got done painting. We're letting it dry now. But we got the black paint so we know exactly where we are painting. And so we don't miss any spots. Good. All right, so the we just took the tape off this door. The paint is drying as we speak and we are about to marker up these holes together and get the other door or window off. So we just taped it up for the jigsaw and I'm glad I did tape the jigsaw itself because look at how much it started to tear already. So if that was metal that could have been some damage so just a thought when you're doing it. So here is my setup because you need a pressure to keep that door open. The reason why we have the doors open is because we don't want the metal shavings going in the van. So once Taylor's done cleaning this window, we're gonna apply this rubber seal to it. All right, well, we're up. All right, you wanna do it? So we're gonna start from the bottom. So, all right, so now we just need to cut this and we wanna leave a little bit extra and then cut it and you can kind of like pinch this, move this in so it's kind of compressed and then it expands on itself to apply that pressure. I know what I'm doing. Do you want to cut it or you want to dip? So make sure with the corners there there's plenty of slack. Ooh. Make sure there's plenty of slack up in these corners because it tends to give a little bit, so you want to just apply that pressure there. Alright. Alright, so Next step for this window, Taylor already uh, cleaned it with the glass cleaner. So I'm gonna take the back of a sponge, the screen part, and scuff it up so the primer sticks really well. All right, so if I show you what it looks like up close, You see that? You can see that line right there, it's where it's scuffed. Same here, you can see the line where it's scuffed. Next step is to get um, an alcohol pad or another type of glass cleaner. And just go over it one more time, make sure all the dust from the, the, the paint is off, and then we'll get ready to apply the primer. So next on the list, here's some um, glass cleaner. And we're just gonna clean this one more time before we apply the primer. All right, Taylor's painting the other th window with the Rust-Oleum paint. About to apply the primer. So the primer that we are going to use is 3M single step primer and we got this off Amazon and we got these little cotton swab things off Amazon as well. That's what we saw others use and it was a good technique here. So we heard also don't stick the cotton swab in before it on. You get it on the car There's nothing with the primer. And you're just gonna want to outline where you scuffed up. And this dries really quick. Really? 
Yeah. And there you go. Primer. Alright, I'm just gonna apply a quick little second coat to make it nice and thick for the urethane adhesive. Cleaning the glass window with glass cleaner and making sure it's nice and clean. And then we're going to scuff it up with the sponge, same thing that we did to the door. That way the adhesive, the urethane and the primer will stick to it very nicely. How much of it do you want scuffed? Similar to... Only around from, the outside or yeah. the whole thing? No, in the middle of the Here? outside. Yeah, just like that. Yep. Exactly. We're going to make that nice rough edge to it. Alright, Kevin is putting some primer on the outside of the window. This is just for some extra adhesion. So we're pausing right now because it's raining, so we had to put the tarp up. So that's a bummer. There's no rain in the forecast, but it is what it is. So while the rain's starting to stop, that there's some metal shavings on the magnet here. So you might want to cover this up with uh, painter's tape or masking tape. Not sure if you can see that, but it's Jersey for you. Sunshine and raining. All right, so the rain stopped. We are ready to put the urethane on to the one window. And then we're gonna apply the window to the door. The other side we're still letting the rust rust oleum paint dry and then we're going to put the rubber seal on and then we'll do the primer in the window next so the urethane has a hole you got to pop through and oh i already did it there's like a like a tuna can lid on it you got to pop that off and then just a regular caulk gun should do the trick and then not yet. And then we cut the lid of this and made a V cut from one of the YouTubers. Again, I'll name them in the text here. But uh, we'll see how it goes. We want to do one continuous bead all the way around. And here goes nothing. Start from the bottom. Now we're here. Alright. This stuff is hard to push out. You're going... What's that? You want your triangle at the bottom? I don't know. You want your triangle at the top. So you want your triangle to be following your direction around the window when you're making uh, that bead. And the reason why you want that is so the bead is at its thickest as you're moving around. You want the thickness of the bead to be about half an inch or maybe three quarters of an inch. So when you apply the window to the door, um, there's, enough, there's enough urethane to create that thickness. And then when you apply the pressure, it flattens out and then um, creates that water seal. All right, so we use about, I want to say, one and a half. We weren't sure how much to get. Yeah, probably about a half of it, but I'd rather be safe than sorry and just use one whole thing for each side. So we'll keep this as extra, but we're going to start with the fresh one for the next door as well. Ready? Ready. All right, so here we go. 
So when you apply the window to the urethane adhesive, we use the suction cups to help us uh, move the window around. And then we've got little spacers for underneath the window that help prevent it from sliding down, as well as taping the top of the window with masking tape uh, to make sure it stays up. All right, so these things work like a charm. Harbor Fright, eight bucks or something. They hold up to 80 pounds each one. Um, they helped us try and get that den out over there in the door from the previous owner. Um, but we got the C clamps on to keep the pressure. And then we're working on the other one right now. We just scrubbed it down, getting ready for the primer. And now we're cleaning it. And I am going over to the other window and gonna scrub the outside of the window and get it set up for the primer as well. All right, here's primer to this. I'm gonna apply the primer now to this window as well and get it ready for the urethane and the adhesive. Or, I guess the urethane is the adhesive, but we're getting it ready. So again, you don't wanna pour this all over the place because it's nasty, it smells like nail polish. Pour a little bit onto the cotton swab. And then apply your coat. Again, we're going to apply the primer. Back the window. Nothing too crazy. Give that a minute to dry, and then we will apply the urethane in the window. All right, all right, so just getting ready for the urethane again. So I just took a razor blade and cut a triangle in it to get a good um, application to the door. And so the window sticks pretty good as it's pressed against it. All right, so applying it again. Here goes the second door. This is really hard. So we made sure that the entire hole was open when uh, we punched through it this time. It's really hard to get out of this tube. Already, already feels easier, yeah. And then you want to make sure that the bead is always on the door. You don't want to lift up and create a gap. Always keep it pressed against the door. Alright, uh, before we put this on, Taylor did one more application of the glass cleaner just so all the dust from sitting out is removed. So it's nice and clean, ready to go. Ready? Mm -hmm. So there, there's a little bit of black smudge. I'm trying to use it with a sponge to get it out. It's pretty difficult. Looks like it's working a bit, but not as much as I wanted. Over here, same thing. I'm trying to get this with the sponge while it's still wet. Ooh, that's not good. Oh man, making it worse. All right, all right, so we got both windows done. It's about 5.30, so four hours to get both windows done. And we are still waiting on the plate here, but we're gonna continue to put pressure on the windows, we have the C-clamp on this side now, and another clamp up there, just to keep the pressure on. And then we'll remove these in probably like 30 minutes, and shut the door, and we're done. We now. All right, so just showered, and um, 
about to take the clamps off the van windows. And before I do that, I'm going to vacuum away all of these metal shavings, which are all over, um, just to prevent rust. Those can accumulate rust, and that's going to be an issue. So make sure that you uh, clean all this up before you're done, and don't forget to do that. All right, let's do it. All right, hair is a mess. It's okay. Fish product. Looks good. Liking it. Liking it a lot. Not bad. I gotta remove the sticker. And then we'll be adding the, the panel to that as well. So it's all hidden. I'm gonna leave the spacers in underneath the windows for anything from coming up. But looking sweet. Not too bad. And this is two days after our uh, installation of the windows. That's really quick to see if the windows are leaking at all. So, I guess I should have brought a paper towel, but I'll use my shirt so there's no watermarks on my shirt. We have no wet spots on the shirt. And we'll do it again. All right. Check out what it looks like from the outside or from the inside. This is what it does. This rubber seal really gives it a nice finished look. So we definitely recommend that. And overall, it's raining pretty hard and it came out really, really well with no leak. If you found this video helpful in any way, shape, or form, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to follow along with more build episodes of our conversion, then give us a subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks.